So it's gonna be a journey. Uh, I studied for three months straight. It was uh, it was a stressful three months too, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, go at it. Just sit your butt down every day and go at it. It'll pay off. Um, definitely exercise and keep sane. Uh, if I was not exercising, I would have gone absolutely insane. Uh, play music, relax somehow, but again, this is going to be your job for the whole summer or however long you have to study for this. Uh, take it very seriously. I would not have any other commitments while you're studying for your DAT. Um, and the music stopped again. Alright. Um, so you're going to start off studying, like the first two weeks, you're going to do like three, four hours of studying tops every day, and you're going to be burned out, you're not going to do anything more productive. Um, it's going to suck, but trust me, I guarantee you, you're going to get better at it. It's basically, your brain's going to be a muscle, it's going to put out three hours of useful work in the beginning, every day, and it's summer, right? But then after two weeks, two or three weeks, you're going to get great at it, you're going to be doing six to ten hours a day, and... That last week, I was doing 11 hours studying um, a day, and I wasn't even tired by the end of it. I just wish I had more time. So, trust me, if you're tired of studying and you feel like you're just not getting anything done, just push through. Um, you'll get it. You're going to get really good at it. Um, get a good night's sleep every night during the summer. You, just imagine, you spend seven hours studying, and then you get like four hours of sleep because you have to party or something that night. That's going to be a mistake. Uh, it's only one summer. I would not party too much that one summer and get a good night's sleep every night. Um, and trust me, when you put your head on the pillow that night, it doesn't matter if you stay there all day or not. Um, you're going to pass out. Um, let's see. It gets much easier. Studying gets a lot easier. You get used to it. You find your rhythm. Um, as far as taking breaks from studying, a lot of people say study during weekdays, like treat it as a full-time job. Personally, I studied every day and I studied hard. Um, and I got breaks from like natural events that happened, like um, family reunions or like some job obligation or something. You're gonna have breaks forced on you because life, you know, you can't just put everything in your life on the side to stay for a DAT. So I didn't take any intentional breaks, but I ended up having quite a few breaks, like one day or two day breaks, because of family things. Um, but don't lose your studying routine. Just get in it. Locomotive. Push your way through. Um, oh, aim high. So, um, ever so lyrical genius Mr. Kanye West says, Shoot for the stars, so if you miss, you land on the clouds. That's like the definition of my DAT studying. Um, for example, like the PAT, I was shooting for a 30, and I missed. I landed on clouds, and clouds ended up being 25 for me. And <laughs> I'm happy, I'll take that 25. Um, don't go for the 20 or 21, just because it's a magic number. You want to shoot high. Just go all out. Go big or go home, basically. Um, and following off that, don't take your DAT unless you're 100%, well, 95% ready. Uh, you're never going to be 100% ready for your test, I guarantee you, in that last week, or last two weeks even, you're going to wish you had more time. And if you really feel that way, put your DAT off, delay it, until your absolute last chance. Take it, go into your DAT with absolute confidence, um, and it pays off. That's the advice one of my friends gave me. And I'm so glad I followed uh, my good friend. I'm not going to say his name. But he told me, if you're not ready, you're not ready. Just wait. Study some more. Study some more. That's what I did. And it paid off. Um, also keep in mind, you're never going to be 100% ready. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Take it once. Take your DAT once and go all out. Okay, now as far as the resources I used, the music, come on. There you go. So, the resources I used, um, first of all, all these resources I'm going to list, um, how much I use them vary from basically using them for reference, like the my bio books, my official bio textbooks, or um, 
memorizing and knowing, knowing them by heart, like uh, all these notes from Pre-DDS or my um, D8 Destroyer. So I used Top Score, I used ADA Practice Test, I used DAT Achiever, I used Crack DAT PAT, um, and I got the uh, the package that has that extra random problems. I feel like the random problems helped a little bit. Uh, DAT Destroyer, uh, DAT Destroyer Math, Kaplan Blue Book, Cliff AP Bio, excuse me. <laughs> And pre DDS, high yield OCAM, high yield GCAM, high yield biology, and yeah, I think that's about it. Um, so, there is, I told you it's gonna be a long video, it didn't turn out as long as I thought, which is great. I don't have to chop it up. Um, let me know, I'm studying, so I'm in school, I'm not gonna be on YouTube all the time, but. Post questions, let me know if you have any questions, and I've been there, it's not easy, it is annoying as heck, so I'm there for you to ask any questions you have, hopefully this helped, um, let me know what's up, and yeah, <laughs> uh, if you're in the middle of your DAT studying and you're feeling sick and tired of studying, um, again, I've been there, it sucks, but just push through, push on through, if you have to take a day long break, no more than a day, and then go back at it full force. It sucks, but it, it'd be so worth it. Uh, I think I'm gonna post the scores I got and the practice tests if I have the time um, in the description box, which should be below somewhere. And I'm planning on putting up some other videos. So yeah, check out my other videos too. They're probably either gonna be music related or DAT related. So best of luck. You guys got it.